Hey guys, welcome back to problem 1216 from the fundamentals of chapter 12. Here we have, um, a, you know, again, a particle moving along a straight line path. Um, we're doing 2D kinematics now, so we know, um, you know, our, I guess we can say our position function is given to us by uh, some Rxi plus Ryj. And if we have the Z component, we can write it like that. And the same thing goes for the velocity. Uh, we want the veloc total velocity of the velocity vector of that particle, or the position function of that particle. We have Vxi plus Vyj plus Vzk. Okay. But since we're only dealing with two dimensions here, let's get rid of this one, right? And the reason I'm writing this is because we're going to need it. And then to get the velocity or the magnitude of that, um, of the velocity, uh, is because, so, in order to get the magnitude of the velocity, we're just going to square each component, the vx squared plus vy squared, right, and that'll give us the magnitude, right, so we'll be utilizing this in this, um, in this problem. So, we're given the position along the x-axis, right, so it's, they're telling us that x x equals h t where t is in seconds determine its speed when t equals 2 okay so what's v x oops what's v x at t equals 2 All right but we're also given y y is equals 2.75 x so we need to find that as well, the Vy component at t equals 2, and then get the magnitude at t equals 2. Um, first, I'm just going to figure out what y is in terms of time. So that's 0 0.75 times 8t. Okay. And that is 6t. All right, so we have our two functions x and y as a function of time, right? So what I'm going to do here is just figure out what vx is. That's just taking one time derivative, dx dt. And the same thing for y. <clears throat> Take one time derivative, and you get 6, all right? So in order to get the magnitude now, all right, so at time equals 2, it doesn't matter what it is because it's going at constant velocity now. <clears throat> so all time equals 2, 3, 4, 5, it's going to be going with the same uh, velocity. All right, so we're going to take the magnitude, and that'll be 64 plus 36, <clears throat> um, which conveniently gives us 10 meters per second. All right, so that is, if we, let's say Vx, Vy. So yeah, so this is pretty much our answer. All right, that's all we have to do. And if we're trying to visualize it, we have uh, Vy. Let's say this is 2, 4, 6. Two, four, six, eight. You know, this is our Vx, our Vy, and then Vx plus Vy. Right, we remember, if we re remember our statics and our vectors and everything. This is V, okay? So it's, this will be our resultant, which is 10 meters per second. All right, that's pretty much it. Um, hope this video helped. I know this is pretty e easy, simple. But remember, these, bit, these um, problems in Chapter 12 will escalate. And if you take a week off in your course, you will come back and see how far behind you are. So just keep up with all the problems that your prof professor assigns and uh, utilize these videos to help you out. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.